of the Veridos team, Prime Minister, the members of the Ghana team, the AG chambers. I'm very pleased this afternoon that we are at a stage now where we can move to the contract signing of this very important project. The implementation of an electronic identification system which will allow for the issuance of work permits and resident identification. As you are all aware, this process took some amount of time. The government of Ghana sought the assistance of the United Arab Emirates in October 2021. On the invitation of His Highness Sheikh Ahmad Al Maktoum, two internationally recognized industry leaders, Swiss Authentis Self Origin, which has an origin in France and Switzerland, and Veridos, origin in Germany, presented their national identification system solutions. These solutions were evaluated by a technical team comprising members of the National Data Management Authority and the Office of the National ICT Advisor. The evaluation criteria factored included technology use, other government clients, biometric security subsystems, and Veridos was the company in the estimation of the evaluators that presented the best solution for Guyana. As you're aware, also, Veridos is a company with, in which the government of Germ Germany is part owner. I don't know if I'll have the pronunciation right, was, but Bundes Rukari, which is a federal printing press of the government of Germany, is part owner of Veridos. Veridos is also owned by uh, Giseki Devrent, which is a company that deals with the printing of currency. The ID cards that we are going to implement for Guyana is going to position Guyana among a set of nations that has one of the most technologically advanced electronic identification system. The ID cards are compliant with 18013-5 of the ISO standard. What this means is that this card has the possibility, well, first of all, this, star, this card is also accepted by the International Civil Aviation Organization for International Travel. So that is the level and uh, integrity of the card. Not only does it come with the highest level of I, uh, ISO compliance, but it is also accepted by the International Civil Aviation Organization for International Travel. As a result of that compliance, it brings with it technical and international standards and requirements that are met, interop interoperability, secure and interoperable identity credential, privacy, and cross-border protection. As you know, these are important issues the global community is faced with, and we are advancing our work in our technological transformation to position Guyana to be among those countries that are ready for the new digital age. This is part of rolling out a set of programs and uh, policy that is positioning Guyana to be a functional economy that is highly competitive in a world 2030 and beyond. Many countries have already implemented the electronic identification system as part of their national identity management program to facilitate the provision of e-government and other services. E-ID systems 
promote the idea of one citizen, one identity, by assigning a unique national registration number to each citizen for use by all government agencies. Private sector, for example, in the banking sector now, we know the difficulties there. Through this card, the banking sector now can have fingerprint verification and validation of the person who is before them. So the need for proof of address and all the other documentation is eliminated. So the cost of doing business, the effectiveness, the competitiveness, the efficiency, all improve as a result of this technology. Given the government of Guyana commitment to promote e-governance in order to improve the productivity of businesses and delivery of government services through the introduction of e-health, e-education, e-security, e-agriculture, electronic permit and license processing, etc. There is an immediate need to implement a robust national identity management system, one that focus, focuses on the integration of identification services across government agencies, security, ease of use, and acquisition of IDs. By so doing, this ID system would improve access to all citizen-centric government services and benefits the citizens, private sector, and government alike. This will bring us in line with solutions used by the most developed economies and position Guyana to be a competitive free, uh, sphere in a, in a world that is moving drastically, advancing drastically along a technological landscape. Additionally, as you know, we have the new requirement in Guyana for work permits, managing work permits, managing uh, our uh, immigration process, the resident card. All of this is going to become major issues that we have to deal with. So this card will allow us to deal with this electronically because it will be able, we'll, through this card, we'll now be able to address the issue of work permit. Resi resident card will be added on the electronic ID system and will be used to better document the immigrants working in Guyana. So this is very important. The work permitting resident card is part of the uh, delivery of this project, and it allows us uh, to ensure that, um, that we manage uh, the immigrants coming in and manage the work permit system. Important to note, as a result of being uh, ISO compliant, this ID card uh, one of the key features is the level of privacy. Secure, the, the privacy aspect of this card is second to none. So if I may summarize uh, some of the technical output of the card, we'll have, for example, we'll have a central ID processing system. We'll have pre-enrollment stations, fixed enrollment stations, delivery stations, mobile enrollment stations, laser engraving, uh, international civil aviation compliant public key infrastructure. Now the ABIS, which is a biometric engine to, to store our records and, and, and make it internationally uh, access, accessible on a common platform. All of this is important for the security of our country, for global security also. Uh, it includes the printing and the delivery of the national ID, the source code for the enrollment and issuance solution and of course the processing of work permits. The system allows the capture of individuals' biographical and biometric information based on international standards and stores it to provide identity-based services to individuals and other government offices. The ID and resident cards are laser engraved, black and white technology with secure pre-printed designs and devices for a state-of-the-art polycarbonate document which included chip that can integrate a variety of services to the individual. More importantly, the solution considers tailoring the software to Guyana, implementation services, training of administrators and operators, local help desk support, and 60 months of support and maintenance following the estimated 12-month implementation period. 
So, as I said, given the importance of this project, given that these components are part of the uh, ISO standard and International Civil Aviation Organization compliance mechanism, the, and the National Data Management Authority uh, found that the proposed solution is one that fits the needs of our country and therefore recommended that Veridos, uh, as I said, which is a Germany-based company, part owned by the government of Ger Germany, be the implementation partner and the technology and the partner that will deliver this technology to us. The ID documents are manufactured at their ISO uh, compliant quality certified production sites, which have full European Union level security clearance. I want to emphasize that. All the sites have full European Union level security clearance. Further, they have completed successfully projects of a similar nature in Costa Rica, Uganda, Mexico, United States, Canada, Kosovo, Germany, Belgium, Botswana, Bulgaria, etc. Those are some of the countries that they completed successfully similar project. This project uh, is to a cost of approximately 35.4 million US dollars. And today I'm very, very happy after a very long process, uh, we are at a stage that we can now sign this contract and move towards implementation. I want to thank the staff of the NDMA, the National ICT Advisor, the Prime Minister, the staff of the Attorney General Office, and of course, Minister Indar, who uh, accompanied me initially to the UAE and has continuously followed up with uh, Dr. Ashni Singh from the Ministry of Finance to ensure that everything was completed to stay with the process and to ensure that today we are in a position to uh, to sign uh, the final, final negotiated uh, contract with uh, the Veridos in association with the private office, um, the private office of His Highness Sheikh Ahmad Dalmuk Al Maktoum and Veridos. So congratulations to all those who were involved. I thank you for your work. Uh, from my office too, I want to thank Marcia. Uh, for uh, the coordination and the work she has done. And I now uh, invite um, Sheikh Ahmad Al Maktoum, His Highness, and the members of Veridos and your team to add any uh, sentiments you would like to add, and then we proceed to the signing of this contract. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency. Um, really happy to be with you in this signing ceremony. It has been a long journey for us to reach to this point, but uh, I, I would really like to thank yourself, the government of Guyana, for trusting us with our partners, Veridos, uh, and choosing us for uh, implementing this, this project. And hopefully this is only the, the start of a long-term relationship. And I would, I would appreciate uh, from Veridos, uh, the, the fast implementation, as we understand, Guyana is moving very fast in the world market. And uh, I really would like to thank Your Excellency again and the government of Guyana for supporting us uh, in this project. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Just from, from my side, uh, the same. Thank you very much, His Excellency. Uh, from uh, Veridos, just to say that, that we are very committed on this project and it will be an honor to work with you and develop this nice and beautiful project together with you so thank you very much for this opportunity and looking forward to start as soon as possible with this implementation thank you so in the So I think, I think we are virtually signing this contract. We are saving costs from traveling.
All right, thank you very much, and we look forward for a efficient for efficient implementation and seeing you in Guyana. Thank you very much. I, I also want to thank uh, uh, the full team from His Highness office. I see uh, Omar there. I want to thank the complete team for your support and your commitment uh, throughout this process. Thank you. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you very much. All right, that's it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.